This is a question that's probably asked by many people, and is also a question that has no clear answer. But there are plenty of things that can cause pain in your eyes, but what if it's something new? What if you get the most painful thing in your eyes? If you've ever had a foreign body in your eye, then you know how painful it can be. Imagine if it was something even more foreign, like a sharp piece of glass or a needle. Well, there is no point in stressing about this because we have the answer for you. Welcome back to Limitless. It's been a while, but we're back. We want to thank you for watching and making it possible for us to keep doing what we do best. The first thing that comes to mind is a chemical burn. Many people have accidentally gotten some sort of chemical in their eyes and it's a painful experience. It's like you're staring into the sun, but worse. The eyes are sensitive and can take a long time to heal. You might get cataracts or other vision problems if it happens often enough. You should never try to treat chemical burns yourself. Go straight to the hospital or urgent care center. You could end up losing your eye if you don't. What if you get an electrical shock in your eye? The electrical current can cause a large amount of damage to the retina. The retina is the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye that sends visual signals to your brain through the optic nerve. If you get an electrical shock in your eye, you may lose your vision permanently. If you get an electric shock in your eye, go to the emergency room immediately. The doctor may need to check for bleeding in the eye and do a biopsy of the retina. This will help them determine if any permanent damage has occurred. What if you get a needle stuck in your eye? If you happen to be unlucky enough to get a needle stuck in your eye, try not to panic. This is one of those things where the best course of action may be a call for help. The needle has to come out or you'll go blind, but doing it yourself would be extremely risky. The first thing you need to do is to stop the bleeding. If there's no blood coming out of the eye, then you've got time and don't have to worry about it right now. If there is blood coming out of the eye, then find something that will cover up your eye and press on it firmly until the bleeding stops. After that, look around for some kind of tweezers or sharp instrument that can cut through the needle easily. Once you have one, start looking around for where the tip of the needle is located inside your eyeball by feeling around with your fingers until it feels like there's something sticking into your eyeball. Press down on that spot very firmly with your fingers or thumb until the needle pops out like when pulling on a splinter from outside your skin area. If you don't have any tweezers or anything sharp, then use your fingers to dig around in your eye until you feel something like a needle sticking into it. Then gently pull on that spot until the needle pops out like when pulling on a splinter from outside your skin area. What about blazing hot sand? If you've been to a beach, you know that sand is hot, hot enough to burn your feet and hands. So what if you get some in your eye? The most common way for this to happen is when you are digging or playing in the sand and then rub into your eyes. This can happen even if you're wearing sunglasses because the sun rays can still heat up the sand. This can cause damage to your cornea as well as conjunctivitis. Luckily, this is fairly easy to treat. All you need is a cold compress and some artificial tears or saline solution. If you have access to a swimming pool, use a chlorine water to flush the sand out of your eyes. The chemical will kill any bacteria that might be on the sand and help prevent infection. If you don't have access to a swimming pool, rinse your eyes with fresh water as soon as possible. You should also talk with your doctor about getting an antibiotic drop just in case there's an infection in your eye. What if you get the scratch of a cat? If you get poked in the eye by a cat, it's going to hurt like hell. And it's probably not going to be very pleasant for the cat either. The scratch of a cat is one of those things that make you feel like you're going to die and you probably won't even know what happened until after it's over. The claws on cats are almost as sharp as knives and just as capable of slicing through your skin and creating a nasty wound. If you're not careful, you could end up with a deep scratch across your face or chest that takes days to heal. Cats are predators by nature, so they don't think twice about attacking prey when they see an opportunity. When they feel threatened or if they're feeling playful, 
they'll use their paws to attack whatever looks that it might be a threat or something fun to play with. You may have heard stories about cats getting into fights with dogs or other cats, but many times those fights occur because one animal is trying to protect itself from another who has made an aggressive move toward them first. Moving forward, if you get wasabi in your eyes, then you will have the most painful thing ever in your eyes. If you're a fan of Japanese food, then you must have heard about wasabi. It is a Japanese condiment that has been used for many years as a spice. The pain is so bad that it can make grown men cry. It's actually not very common for people to get wasabi in their eyes, but when it happens, you definitely want to avoid rubbing them because it will only make things worse. The thing is that it is not just the pain that makes wasabi such a dangerous ingredient. It is also very difficult to remove from your eyes once you get in there. If you rub your eyes after getting wasabi in them, then it will only make things worse by spreading the sauce around. But what if you do get it in your eyes? Here are some tips. Number 1. Don't rub your eyes. Number 2. Rinse with cold water for at least 10 minutes and use artificial tears if needed. And number 3. If you start feeling numbness or tingling around your mouth or face, seek medical attention immediately because this may be an allergic reaction. Eyesight is something that many of us take for granted, but if you damage your eyes or lose your eyes in any way, it can be very painful, not just for you but for everyone around you. So remember what we say and don't put these things in your eyes. If you have allergies to certain things like dust or pollen, wear sunglasses when outside in the sun because it will protect your eyes from being irritated by the sunlight as well as any allergens that are floating around. Always be careful with items like this, especially if you have small children that may not know that these things can hurt their eyes. That said, if you do get something stuck in your eye, don't panic and call 911. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think about these warnings? Have you also been in a situation of hurting your eyes with one of these painful things? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.